Wanstead again trying to cut off the cage. Miles responding with a kick. Nice leg kick there. Again, a bit of a slower pace here for Manstead. I just uh, think that's a respect on Adrian Miles. That's a snapping leg kick. Good work here by Miles Anstead getting inside that those leg kicks of Adrian Miles now working on the cage, trying to put some pressure on and take him down to the ground where those kicks can't hurt you anymore. And there's that power we're talking about. Anstead able to do things that no one else in this division is just because of the power that he has. Well, punches now to the side of the head. Good positioning from Adrian Miles there, having that one hand up. Blocking those punches effectively and now back to his feet. Again, the experience playing a factor there, Jeremy, not panicking when uh, um, when Miles Anstead just starts hammering fists at him and able to recover a good position. Here's another takedown and a successful one from Miles Anstead. Got the double legs. He has to be careful though. You see the leg on the inside. Now it's come free. Uh, Adrian Miles was trying to switch through by grabbing the leg, but Anstead now with top position and keeping Adrian Miles pushed up against the cage. Not a comfortable position for Adrian Miles. Anstead now on top again, throwing those big punches, but you can see that Adrian Miles has that block in so that that way not much damage can be done. Here's the one thing, the dangerous thing about all these muscles. Yes, they come in handy, uh, especially in mixed martial arts, but they take a lot of blood, a lot of oxygen to be able to power. So when you see that and those big punches that come, you wonder whether Adrian Miles is just biding his time before Miles Anstead tries to slow down. Well, and he said that too. He said he knows that he needs to get on oh, a nice roll through. That was sick. through there as Adrian Miles shows some veteran savvy to find himself now on top of Miles Anstead. A very nice transition there to wind up on top. Well, I'm surprised he didn't go for the. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't go for the, the the knee bar there. He had a really good position, but I'm guessing that you know his jujitsu better than mine in that situation. He felt that Anstead was ready for it, and if he attempted it, he would lose this dominant position. It's more important to stay in a dominant position than to attempt a submission that you might not get. So now Miles on top, Adrian Miles that is. He's trying to find an opportunity. Again, a bit of a slower pace here from Adrian Miles. And you mentioned earlier, Jeremy, trying to weather the storm in the early going from Miles Anstead. Maybe try and tire the, the young man out. Uh, Anstead only really been out of the first round a few times in his career, both amateur and pro. So he's trying to work that system. Nice and slow pace. And that is where Adrian Miles works. It's a grinding pace. and. The thing that he wasn't successful in doing when he was facing off against Rodney Wallace at 205 was to be able to get these dominant positions. Every time that he did, Rodney Wallace was able to use his jiu-jitsu to get one. And now Adrian Miles doing an excellent job keeping Miles Anstead on his back, carrying the weight, trying to slow him down. That is the recipe for success for Adrian Miles, is to slow Miles Anstead down. Yeah, Anstead almost popping up, but uh, Adrian Miles using almost an arm drag there, Jeremy, to, to wind him back in. And now a nice roll there from Anstead to get back on top. Anstead in top position, but he's got to be careful. That head is in a precarious position. If Adrian Miles can lock it up, not much pressure there in the side control. Now the back for Miles Hansen, and he's going to be raining down these punches, and he's got to slow down. I'm imagining Tanner Boser in the corner saying, you've got to slow down. You don't have to lay, land 50 punches, just land three or four good ones. Now trying to go for the choke, that well defended. And again, both of those padded hands getting up between the fists of Miles Anstead and Adrian Miles. This back position for Miles Anstead is good and solid, but he's got to get some offense going with it because Adrian Miles did a good job from that top position. So this is a very close round to call, so you want to be able to steal it away right now if you're Miles Anstead. Anstead landed the knee, and Adrian Miles checked his lips for blood and then leaned over and said, nice. That's... That's a the, veteran move right the, there. The never-ending sportsmanship of MMA. While the guy knees you in the face, you only respond with nice. Well, that foot stop might get rid of that sportsmanship because foot stops. 
One, a win over Adrian Miles would be huge for Miles Anset's career, but he has to deal with those leg kicks, and that's one way to deal with it. You catch him and take him down, a nice double leg, and now away from the cage. So it gives Adrian Miles less to be able to use to position to get out of this position at, that uh, Miles Anset has put him in. And now this, again, the half guard from Miles, and he's almost trying to slip in that, uh, that arm triangle, but uh, Adrian Miles wise to that one. Yeah, Miles Anstead showing some of that explosive speed, being able to catch the kick and get through it very, very quickly. And now trying to take the back of Adrian Miles. He was able to do so a couple times up against the cage in the first round, has done so here again in the second round. Now trying to move into a side position, look for the roll through, and now a nice transition into guard from Adrian Miles. When we said that Adrian Miles, excellent Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu defense and uh, showing it right there, getting from a very bad position to one where he can start to work. But Miles Anstead doesn't mind this guard position. He has to watch out though. When he keeps his head down like that, he leaves himself open to those big elbows and that's what get him, got him caught against Brant Dewsbury. So Anstead now working from the top. Austin trying to find a spot on the bottom. And again, the ground and pound are very effective here. You can see now passing into side control. Looked like Adrian Miles was trying to put his legs up, maybe try and catch him in a triangle or an arm bar, Jeremy. And, and Anstead using that opportunity to pass now on the full mount. Now on a mount for Anstead, dangerous for Adrian Miles. But Adrian Miles is wily. He'll find a way to be able to slip out of this, try and take away those hooks. You'll watch him shift his hips. And when the hooks come out, that's when he'll explode and try and come through. But you see Miles Anstead very wide in his base, trying to keep this do top dominant position. Gave up his back, a choke attempt, now rolling through that. Miles Anstead on top of Adrian Miles, trying to find an opening in the veterans defense and now punching. And again, not much damage on those punches from Miles Anstead. Showing domination though in this top position and saying, look, I'm doing what I can to, to try and end the fight. And that's what the judges look for. Whoever does the most to try and end the fight, that's who gets the 10. The other one gets a nine. And right now, Anstead being patient. He's not trying to throw a thousand punches. He's just slowing it down and picking his spots. So again, uh, scrambling, trying to find an opening. Anstead being held on the one hand. Now here's, and there's the tap very quickly. This fight is over as a choke from Miles Anstead. Adrian Miles upset with the decision he